everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to talk about Azure AI Foundry. So if you have watched the last week's Ignite event from the Microsoft then I am sure you must have heard this term Azure AI Foundry because this was used in lot many presentations, lot many uh, speeches or the events which were present in there. So what exactly this Azure AI Foundry? So in my this video, I'm going to introduce you to this, but, but this particular term. I will tell you what all benefits we can get out of it and why we should use it. And then in later half, I will tell you how actually we can use it using the portal. So let's quickly get started. The very first thing is what is Azure AI Foundry? So in a nutshell, I can tell you that it is a unified AI platform provided by the Microsoft in which we can do lot many things starting from our development let's say management of resources or even the deployment part because whenever we are developing any application which is infused with ai then it involves lot many complex things so this entire process if i'm talking about the life cycle of our application development then it is like development deployment and the management so these three are the pillars which are integrated into the single platform which is called azure ai foundry and what this particular platform does is it integrates variety of ai services it integrates variety of tools for us which provides a very seamless experience for any developer who is working or developing such kind of applications so let's quickly look at a few of the key features what it has to provide for us the very first thing is the unified ai tooling so this is one of the most standout feature of this platform i would say because tool chain is the thing which seamlessly integrate our familiar tools like github or the visual studio or even the visual studio code because these are the tools which we are usually using most of the times whenever we are building ai based applications and most of the times we may feel like switching among these tools so what this platform does is it integrates such kind of tools and boost our productivity so that we can do a smooth development process throughout the cycle the second thing is the built-in templates so there are like i believe there are around 25 templates which are provided for us and we can use those templates and make our development smooth so what those templates contains is it's just a jumpstart project so lot many i would say the basic code is written or or the boilerplate code i would say which is already there and you can just use those templates and get started with your work so it doesn't matter whether you are working on predictive analysis you are working on natural language processing or even the computer vision based application there is a template for almost every common use case which we can think of the third thing is the ai agent service now again this is a very common term everybody is using nowadays everybody is going to create their own ai agent which can do lot many things for us starting from automations uh, automating something to automate the business processes so it could be any kind of task an agent can do and these agents can handle tasks like i said starting from the customer service to data analysis as well as your some things which are like the repetitive tasks which you are doing so just by few instruction you can generate the agents and it will reduce so much of workload for you and of course it is going to improve efficiency across the board and the fourth one is the management center when we are talking about ai we are using lot many tools we are using lot many models so definitely we need a place where we can monitor our resources and we can optimize our resources so this is the platform which can provide you this feature as well so if you will look at one shot you are getting all the required tools you are getting some pre-built templates you are get, uh, getting agent services and you are getting the management center where you can monitor and optimize your ai applications now let's talk about few of the benefits which we can get out of this so the very first thing is the efficiency like i said there are inbuilt tools and templates available which makes a developer's life very easy and development process very seamless so that anyone who is working on those application can develop test and deploy ai application much faster than what we were doing using our traditional method so that's why it is very efficient and accelerates our development cycles second thing here is the scalability 
Now, one of the core strength of Azure AI Foundry is the scalability because this platform is designed to handle projects starting from small scale to enterprise scale. So it doesn't matter how long your application is or how many models you are using or whether you are going with a single model or whether you are going with a large number of models for just one application. It is going to scale very smoothly. And the last one is the cost effectiveness. So here, if you're using this particular AI Foundry, like I said, you can monitor everything. So if you can monitor everything, definitely you can work on your cost reduction as well because you will have the dashboards, you will have the graphs, which will tell you actually what is happening with your project, what is happening with your AI resources, which are, of course, a very costly thing when we are developing the application. So these are the few things. And if you are convinced with this particular platform, then let's go ahead and quickly see how we can use it. So for that, what you can do is you can go to Google or any search engine and just write Azure AI Foundry or even you can also go to ai.azure.com and it will open up a page like this wherein it will ask you to log in. In my case, I have already done it, so it's not asking me. Okay, so this is the home page which you will see and here on the top you can see there is a button where you can click on it and it will let you create your first project. So give the name of your project, Azure resources, whatever you want, you can use it, you can customize it, all these things you can do over here. But let's not go with this, rather I will tell, start from this point, so explore models. So this is the key part. And here you can see all the models which are hosted on Azure are listed over here. Now, if you will look at the screen, it's not just to, the models which are provided by Azure OpenAI, but there are few other models which are not part of Azure or the Microsoft. So here you can see Llama, Mistral, and there are a lot many. So there are partner models as well. So you can choose any model out of this. And if you will look at the top panel, here you can see that these are the models which recently available or just launched or, or they are just ported to this particular platform. So those are the hot ones which you can definitely check it out. And here you can see the compare with benchmarks. So let's click on this one and it will allow you to compare two models. Say you want to know the cost or you want to know the performance, accuracy, what all you want. So that thing you can do it using uh, this particular thing. So these are the popular tasks, like what kind of inference you want, whether you want classification, retrieval, so you can choose one from here. And here are the models which you want to compare. And so let's say I don't want to compare Mistral or Llama. I just want to compare GPT-40 with 5.3 medium. And here on the right hand side, you can see this blue mark, which is for Phi. And here on the right hand, uh, left hand side, bottom left is for Phi and top right is for GPT-40. And here you can see the, right now we are matching the quality index with the cost factor. So definitely if we are looking for higher quality, we, are, we need our mark to be on the towards the right end. But here, if you will see 5.3 medium, it is lying at the very starting position where as compared to our GPT-4.0. It means when you're using GPT-4.0, you will get the better quality, but at the same time, cost is also higher. So there are a few parameters which you can check. So latency wise, if you will see the this model 5.3 is taking Latency is very good. It is taking very less time to respond to your queries, but at the same time, 4 O's latency is pretty high. It means it is taking more time. And if you don't understand what these parameters are, you can just have a look at this thing which is provided in these brackets here. So the quality index higher is better. It means the more you will go towards the right, you will get the better output. And on the this y-axis, if you will see here, it is saying the lower is better. So of course, we want response to be very fast. So it means that we don't want our latency to go up. It should be close to zero or just at the bottom as possible. So these are the two models, but of course, you can add more models. So model to compare and it will list down the models for you. You can just click on it and it will pull your model into this particular screen. So this is the one of the beautiful feature which I like. Now go back here and if you want to understand how these benchmarks are scored, so this is the hyperlink, you can definitely explore it. And let me go to this one, so collections. 
So collection uh, collections is the list which holds the parameter um, models, uh, the providers of the model who all are providing these models. So if you are looking for just Azure OpenAI once, click on this and you will get the one provided by the Azure OpenAI. If you are going with the Meta, just click on Meta and you will get those Llama models over here. So this is one filter. Let me clear this. Okay. And the second thing is the industry. What kind of industry models you are looking for? Are you looking for the model which are very specific to health and the life science? Then click on this and it will list down all the models which are very good in those two areas or the selected area. Second thing is the deployment option. Here, here we have two options, managed compute and the serverless API. So if you don't know what is it, you can just click on this and just have a look at it. So, so what it is saying is serverless API is like pay as you go and if you don't want to worry about your infrastructure or anything then you can go with the serverless api but if you want more control then managed compute could be your option next comes is the inference task so what all things you want to do what you want to do you do want to summarize your text do you want to play with your images do you want to do like zero shot classifications so object detection all these things you can select it from here and you will let's say you want to do something from image to text so it will list down only those models which are very good in image to text so this is again another great filter over here then we have fine-tuning tasks so what kind of fine-tuning are you looking for do you want to fine-tune your model for the text classification then select this one and you will get the models which can be fine-tuned for this particular inference which is text classification and then we have licenses if you are very particular about the licenses that you want to use license only from this one or this one then you can put that filter here as well so this is one thing let me go back to my home page and here another thing is let's say you are very much interested only in the open ai one so this is the place where you can click on let's, let's go and it will give you all the models which you have deployed for the open Azure OpenAI. So these are the models which I have deployed. So if you want to create new, click on this create new Azure AI, Azure OpenAI, and it will take you to the portal where you can create your new instance for the Azure OpenAI. So let's give it a few seconds. And so this is the place which automatically gets opened up. And here you can, of course, go ahead and create your new resource for Azure OpenAI. In my case, I have already created one and that's why these are listed over here. Now, go back to this one and here is again Azure Explore Azure AI Services. So what this does is, so earlier if you remember, we were having a different, different studios, like we were having Speed Studio, we were having something for Vision, so we have the Custom Vision Studio. So all those different through the language studio are now integrated now this is the place where you can find everything you need not to go to a custom vision studio or language studio or even anything differently because everything is now clubbed to one place and that's why i said it is like a unified platform for your ai services so let's click on this one speech so I'm sure you must have seen these options or similar kind of UI when you explored your speech studio earlier. So now, like I said, everything is ported to here so you can get the similar options here. And these are the documentation, pronunciation, what all things you can do with speech. Similarly, you can have a vision and the document service over here. You will get all the soap if you have used that uh, document intelligence service then you can do the same thing over here because now that has also been integrated into this foundry so and again another thing is the content safety part let's talk a little bit about it so these were a few options which you must have also seen in the prompt flow view or the page and the similar thing you can do it over here you can create your prompt shield what you want to filter what you don't want to filter that can be done over here then grounded net detection like how good your response is you can compare it with your base data and then just generate the score so these all moderation things you can do it here maybe i will create another video talking about each of these but let's restrict this one to high level overview and these are the new things which recently got added i do have a video on this pii 
if you want you can definitely explore it out and these are the few resources if you want to get started and if you're new to this AI platform so I hope you got an idea what we are trying to do or what we can do using this Azure AI Foundry so if you really enjoyed this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the very first time thanks for watching